Okay, so I'm going to take you through the COP report. This is the Commitment of Traders report that's released every Friday. I do it every Sunday. I could do it on Friday, but I'm usually quite tired. Um, so what you see here is an overview of the currencies and commodities. And every week I'll populate the data. So I'll go through each one. It'll be quite a quick video. Uh, this is the pound. So at that point, obviously, it looked like it was going to break out. Um, but this probably coincided with some Brexit news. Um, you can see it slide in. Slight uptick, but still negative. Uh, it might find support along here if we use these horizontal values. So it could probably fall a little, little bit more and then bounce up. But at the moment, it's there's a little uptick there. Gold is very much for buy. Uh, this was the head and shoulders that I was mentioning. Uh, that's the left shoulder, right shoulder, head. That was a resistance, see how that corresponded. So that made me think sell at that point. Then it broke that neckline above. And we've had a big increase of difference from last week. That's bullish. So buy dips on gold. This is what the smart money is doing. SPX which is the standard poor 500 index. Uh, see it's rounding. I've got a rounding top there. This was a, a fake. Uh, this was a bull trap. A bear trap, sorry. So they got people in there. Sell. And they got caught. And they'll continue to sell. It went up. So this is how the sentiment works. No doubt some news event happened about here. Which they caused them to sell. But then they reversed it. Um, it looks like we're going to go down again. And no doubt some news event will come here. People will sell. And something similar will happen. It might be a little bit lower down. Australian dollar negative. Slight tick up. But still bearish. Uh, this is a year old data. Um, so yeah, it hasn't actually been bullish in over a year um, from the smart money perspective. Bearish. Likewise, um, yen, but there is some uh, buying power there. Perhaps an inverted head and shoulders, shoulder, shoulder, head. So it all depends whether or not we can cross that zero line and then we can buy, truly buy the yen. But at the moment it's looking quite positive. So that there, so V shape, uh, euro, round and bottom. So pending that we continue, but become more of a buy over time. At that point, you would have sold, you would have done quite well following the smart money that crossed over in November and had you have held that you would have got enormous swap interest as well and you see the increase and it looks like it's bottoming out potentially so one to keep an eye on is the Euro Kiwi uh, obviously you would have sold there and um, slight uptick notice that it found support there, so that's important. So assuming that we don't break that low, here we could be a buy, and then it would find support down there if this breaks. And Canadian dollar, pretty spiky. That's probably oil related, I'd imagine. Um, bot round and bottom. Um, yeah, that spike is pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's negative, but it's pointing up. Pound support here, perhaps. So, one to keep an eye on. If it goes into positive, buy the Canadian dollar. Swiss franc, negative, but facing up there. Um, much to say about that one, really. Yeah, so... Once it gets there, it'd be interesting. 
if it breaks there, it'll probably go to the upside. And then silver is another interesting one. We've got positive data for silver. Um, you're looking about there. Perhaps that would be your resistance line. Whether or not it breaks this, I don't know. But precious metals obviously uh, bid at the moment. If you look at the standard and poor 500, it looks like we're going to have a sell off. So it makes sense that silver and gold do well. So silver is one to look at. Crude, uh, this again is a year old data and it looks pretty bearish, but bear in mind we are in positive territory. So and there's a slight difference there from last week. See so what you're looking for, thickening of that grey line for difference over time. And that's it for my crop report uh, view. So you keep an eye on that euro, that's the one that interests me. And have a good week and I'll speak to you soon. All right, cheers.